Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to be going over some Battlefield 1 gameplay that I actually filmed and I got 60 to 0. Before I start this video, I'd just like to say I did use a tank so it's a little bit overpowered but i like to give a little review about Battlefield 1 as we go through this and talk a little bit about what I did in this video to get 60 to not. So, first of all, I played on Rush which was probably my favourite game type out of the two on the beta. Obviously the beta is still going as I'm recording this and I'm still playing it. Rush is probably my favourite because one, you can have really good fun sniping and two, the tanks are a lot more powerful because you know where they're spawning and you know where they're coming from. Obviously the tanks are really overpowered, especially the heavy tank as I'm using in this video. Experience a little bit of a elastic band lag then but we'll get straight into this and it is quite a long video so feel free to stay with me and if you want to wind on to the end feel free as well because right at the end you'll see that I got 60 to 0 at the end of the game so there's one kill and I'm not going to go over all the kills because I do skip a few of them and I do wind it on in a minute but it was quite a good game and I did do pretty well on this one so as you can see at the start I'm already ripping people apart <laughs> multi kill straight away and then the storm does come in now this is a really effective thing actually in Battlefield 1 to put something like this in, it's pretty clever to know that they've actually done like a storm or something like that. I just really, really like it. Um, I know in other Battlefields they did stuff like this and other games have done things like this, but the dynamics on Battlefield 1 is insane. The way it changes weather, you'll notice later on in the video, the weather will actually go more dark and it'll be like rain and stuff like that. It's really clever how they've done this. You'll also notice that uh, the sun does come out to the end of the video and it's pretty clever. Now the storm doesn't last for that long because I do wind a bit of it on. But you can see I'm getting quite a few kills in the storm and the storm is really effective for anyone. Basically it counters out snipers completely. I know that sniping is probably one of the funnest things to do in this game and I'm probably going to bring out a sniping video soon. But in this video, as you see, I'm just wrecking in this tank. Heavy tanks, if you haven't played one, do play one because you've got a few abilities. If you didn't know, you can hold down LB to heal up. And also, you can ram people to kill them, as you see in this clip right now. That guy's hiding behind that wall, you know, I'm like, oh, we'll ram him. So we just ram straight through him, roadkill. You can also do a few different things. You can change guns, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because the other guns on this vehicle aren't too good. It's mainly this gun, uh, the rocket turret. I can see I'm trying to do an order there, but it's not allowing me to do it. Uh, but the main gun is probably the main one that you've got on now that I've got on. You can obviously press Y to switch over to the more, it's like a book shot type thing. And as you can see here, we're just going to wind on quickly. So after a little wind on, we're back. Uh, straight here just after the fog storm I just wimed it on the uh, fog storm because it wasn't that good may as well skip through it a little bit it just it just gets annoying and you don't see that many kills but as I was saying the book shot is there you can see at the bottom right if you press Y you actually switch to it now personally I don't really like it that much I do use it a little bit later on but the main cannon seems to do as much damage as the book shot would because it's got kind of like an explosive radius but the book shot doesn't seem to explode the book shot if you want to call it like a bookshot, is mainly used for like medium range. So say for example, if an enemy was at the rock in front of me right now, by where my team are to the left of me, I'd probably use the bookshot if I haven't, if I've got a choice. Uh, but usually I just stick with this one because I can't bother switching between them. And this one is clearly good enough. So here you can see an enemy tank coming in. And in this video, I don't just kill infantry. I do kill a lot of tanks in this video. So this guy actually gets stuck, and then he's like, oh god, and then he's really in trouble. And then me and this other guy in our block track tanks, as I like to call them, are just ripping this guy apart, and eventually he does die. But You've also got a few different things on the tank. You can press right on the stick to actually release a smoke, which is really effective for getting away from tanks. I believe I do do it a few times in this video later on uh, to escape from a few tough situations. Uh, at the very end of the video, as we'll get there eventually, there are some crazy things that do happen. I do have to hide for the rest of the video so I get my 60 to 0, which is pretty annoying that I had to do this, but I did. I didn't expect to get 60 to 0 at all in this game. I was just like, oh, you know what, we'll have a go in the tank. Got given a tank at the start and I'm off and we're just absolutely ripping people apart. So there you can see them kills were stolen and here there's two guys. But I only get one of them because it looks like one of the other tanks managed to get the other kill. But I, technically I could have got four kills there but a lot of them were stolen by the other tanks. Now you're probably wondering how have our team got three tanks because obviously you can only have two tanks on rush. Where you can steal enemies tanks. What a lot of people do which I wouldn't recommend doing is if you've got a really good tank and you're really not bothered about dying. Don't bail out your tank just to save your life on that one because you're just going to die most likely anyway. Unless you're on a really high kill streak, then bail out like I do at the end. But for now, I would not recommend doing that. It's probably 
the worst thing to do if someone knows how to take over your tank because what you can do if someone does that and their tanks on about 15 health the enemy can run in your tank hold lb straight away or l1 and start healing your tank up to full health and eventually your tank their tank or your tank will be repaired and they'll be in it so they'll have a fully health tank and then they advantage for you you've only got one tank to be free and you are going to struggle a bit like what happened in this game and this is why the enemies are kind of struggling against us and we're kind of doing pretty well I didn't actually expect this to happen. I ne like I've had a few other games. I got 48 for none in a previous one and 32 for two. But in this game, it was absolutely insane. Now, it's not the best kill streak I've ever had on any game. The best kill streak I've had on a game would be Star Wars Battlefront One. I got 80. I think it was 83 or 82 for none. Uh, I got 50 kills, roughly about 50 kills in my gun. I think it was about 52 kills in my gun, and the rest were with Boba Fett. Now that was. Just after the game first came out, it was on the map Tatooine, which is very similar to this map, very similar sort of uh, dynamics to it, so it's pretty awesome. But you can see how the sun has now come out on this map, so there you go. <laughs> now this part of the map is pretty dangerous for tanks. This bit is probably the, apart from the end, this bit now is probably the most scariest thing to do with a tank if you are in a tank. Because this area is so crowded and there's a lot of guns here that can take you out, so you've got to be really careful. I think in this section here you'll notice that I do struggle a little bit. It is pretty difficult. Uh, because they've got that little gun to your left there. That can do a lot of damage to your tank if someone jumps on that. But the actual tank itself should be able to take out a lot of things. Now, I believe these are probably going to get nerfed. But they are reasonable. You can kill tanks if you work as a team. Which makes it realistic because tanks are really overpowered in the war. Obviously, they won't be able to repair themselves. So, maybe that's a little bit overpowered. I wouldn't say remove it out of the game. Because it's pretty clever how it works. Because I just like it a lot. I think it really works well. But they should make better weapons to take out tanks if you didn't know you can actually get mines on the i think it's the assault class and then mines near enough one shot a tank so if you get a mine on a tank you will have basically killed it so if you're wondering why are these tanks all killing me switch to the assault class buy some mines and you'll be sorted so here you can see i'm absolutely wrecking some people again <laughs> this guy's like oh i missed him enemy hit there's a lot of situations on this there you go, there's me switching to the buckshot, trying it out, and I think again I use it here on this guy. So you can see, it is good when a, there's a lot of players around, if you haven't got time for hitting them explosive shots. But you can see I'm switching between the different guns, and I missed that shot there. And then uh, trying out the buckshot again, I'm just trying out a lot of guns. I didn't expect to die now, because I knew that the, the enemies didn't really know what to do. It was pretty clever. Here I've got the buckshot out and I'm just trying to decide which one to fire. In this situation here, I was really actually annoyed when I was playing the game uh, because I didn't have any ammo left. Now that is key. If you didn't know, you can reload by pressing double X, but the reload time is so slow. And there you can see I'm releasing some smoke on my tank to get out of the situation and get over here, reload and repair up. That was my aim really. So I got to here, started doing my little reverse, <laughs> my little turn around in the road <laughs> so I'm doing a little turn there and I'm heading back in so I'm heading towards A and B again trying to defend A some guys trying to defuse I think I get him here there you go nicely done he did manage to defuse unfortunately and then his friends here trying to blow me up I got hit on him someone else should finish him off or do I finish it no there's so many enemies around here it's just like ridiculous and for some reason I wasn't getting that many kills I was only getting assists unfortunately because I've just only been using this I should have really been using the buckshot in some of these situations but it's hard to know when to change and when not to so that's the only problem with the tanks, but other than that, they're really overpowered. If you can notice, I have actually got people in my guns. It was kind of a consistent thing throughout this game. A lot of people seem to sat in my tank, which I really wouldn't recommend doing because you don't get that many kills being sat in the guns. Uh, a lot of people seem to stay in my tank. As you can see right here now, there are two, three other people, so four including me, inside my tank. And one guy just keeps switching between all the guns. I don't know why. He just kept doing it. <laughs> but it was so good to be able to actually uh, play this game early technically because I got early access to the beta and get used to it before anyone else could I kind of got a big advantage and knowing what was good and what was bad and that's how I kind of hopped onto this tank started wrecking some people I'm probably the highest person in the lobby currently as I'm recording this video I am level 39 which isn't it's decent I suppose some of you will probably be higher but not all of you will be as high as that it's pretty awesome though to actually get that high on a beta <laughs> on the actual game I probably won't even get that high because I won't really have time to play it that much but on the beta I've had perfect time this week got straight into it got stuck in on the beta and obviously i haven't released that many minecraft videos if you are here for that probably not though probably here to see like a little 60 10 on in my lovely tank but if i was to review this game i'd say it's really really good it's definitely been one of the best battlefield betas i've played out of them all obviously the operation metro one on battlefield 3 was probably one of the top ones out of all the betas i've played 
but this one has been awesome as well. Definitely, it's not the best map for a beta. I hope they've got better maps online. It is a good map. I'm not saying it's a bad map, but it could be slightly better. It does remind me a lot of Battlefield Bad Company 2. And in this situation here, actually, on the footage right now, I actually was thinking about going over that uh, building, but I've done that before, and my tank has flipped. So I was like, oh, we're not going down there. We're just going to defend B over here and start killing all the people at B. Now, one thing that I think should happen on the game is I think gas grenades should be able to kill you inside the tank. So say if I was going around here now, I believe that that gas grenade should be able to kill you, but unfortunately it doesn't, but I believe it should because it would make it a lot more interesting if a gas grenade could kill you when you're in your tanks. You'd have to avoid gas as well, which would make kind of gas grenades a huge counter to tanks, which would be awesome. I know it would be a little bit overpowered, but it shouldn't kill you that quick. It should probably just like damage your health to half, maybe. But obviously, if you get two gas grenades or three maybe being thrown in consistently, then you're going to go down. And I think that should be a thing that they put in the game because it's pretty clever. And maybe you should have to sacrifice maybe something on your tank to wear a gas mask while you're in your tank. Maybe your view gets distorted or something like that if you wanted to, which would be really awesome. Now here, switching between first and third person is key as well. Uh, I believe first person is probably pretty good for certain situations. Like now when I'm sniping people off, I'd probably use first person as you can see. And here's me getting some use out of my buckshot. It does work when the situation's like that. You can notice how it is pretty effective. But I just never know when to use it and when not to. Uh, it is pretty difficult. I can't really decide. <laughs> but you can see it's working pretty well, the buckshot. This guy's actually trying to get some mines on me here. He's getting only the... He killed him. <laughs> he killed himself. But he was trying to get some mines on me. Uh, you can notice that these people are just running away from a tank. They're not even engaging it, which is probably not the thing to do. If there's some guy on a 60-odd kill streak, you don't really want to be running away and kind of hiding from the person because it's probably not the best thing to do you just want to focus them down get your team on them get your squad on them switch to mines get some mines down and then you'll be sorted obviously we have one of the enemy tanks so it is pretty difficult and that is one thing that you've just not you just can't do you can't bail on a tank if it's going to get stolen it's just something you've got to keep in mind obviously on the old battlefields not many people would heal up the tanks but on this one a lot of people do heal up the tanks, so you don't want to be doing that. It's just a no-go. If you do that, you've kind of lost it for your team. And that's how I kind of got my 60 kill streak. Because basically, we robbed their tank, and they couldn't get the tank. I wasn't too sure if it was the little one we robbed, or the uh, the other block one that I'm in. I'm not too sure which one it was. I think it may have been the little one that we robbed, uh, which means they won't be able to get one. Because our block ones died, and then it won't spawn back. Because I believe later on in the game, on Rush, you only get one tank on each side. And obviously their tank is in use by our team so they're not going to get one until later on i don't think they actually get i think they get one tank later on it actually realizes that their tank's been out of use obviously i'm not 100 percent sure how the tanks work and the spawn rate for them and how many you can have but it's roughly between two and one each round kind of and then sometimes it doesn't let you once your tanks have blown up they don't spawn back so it's a bit weird knowing that but this tank is definitely the best if you're on your own in my opinion it's got the strongest one here you can see i'm a 43 fan on it's just insane uh, I've actually never recorded something like this and I've actually got my new computer so it's been pretty awesome to record some of the stuff like this and here again another guy is down we are just trashing them so here you go I'm reloading my health or repairing me myself and as people run in I'm just sat here waiting which is pretty campy but it's pretty funny as well here you go so bang <laughs> it's just really newbie but you know, I had to do it. I've made the footage. Oh, overpowered tanks, obviously. I can't say they're not overpowered. They are clearly overpowered. I'm just absolutely wrecking people. This guy's trying to get grenades on me. No, he's not. He's dead. Reverse a little bit. Block his grenade. So, it's just awesome to actually see such powerful tanks. But I suppose in the old battlefields, they were just as powerful. But the thing that this battlefield is missing is obviously stuff like RPGs that take out tanks pretty well. And I know that repair thing is pretty overpowered. Personally, I don't, you know, the repair thing isn't that bad. It's one thing that it shouldn't, should do is probably not repair as much. Maybe you have to upgrade your tank to have a more, a much better one. So you have to lose your buckshot to get it maybe. Uh, but it's not, I think it's pretty clever. Another thing I've noticed, I don't know if this is actually a glitch or part of the game. There are three different ways you can disable a tank. There's one way of disabling the actual gun. I've noticed that people have disabled my gun. People have disabled my tires so I can't move. And also, see, I believe them gas grenades should be able to kill me now, but obviously they're not doing any damage. Uh, I believe that 
There's three ways, like I was saying. Disable gun, disable your tanks you can't move, and also disabled your crosshair, which is pretty clever. So these are just three things that have happened to me in the past. I don't know if these are meant to happen. I know, obviously, disabled gun and disabled movement isn't meant to happen, but crosshair, I'm not too sure about that. I do like the way it does it, though, because it's pretty clever, because you've been shot by an enemy tank. You lose your crosshair, so it kind of lose like, your sight, so you don't know where you're shooting at them, and you have to kind of run away. It doesn't happen in this footage, but in previous footages that I've recorded on just played, should I say, previous games, it has happened to me, uh, which is pretty clever. I do like the way it does that, and it is awesome to see them thinking of extra things to do. Now, obviously, you need more rockets and stuff to take out tanks, but maybe they should be overpowered. It's just like in Star Wars Battlefront, the... Uh, ATSTs and the AT-80s are really overpowered and that's what you should have they need overpowered things so here's another tank that I'm taking out and this tank the guy I driving I don't know what he's doing he just drives straight into my line of fire and just gets absolutely blown up so this is the part of the game where I was a little bit nervous I was like I've got to be very careful because any second now I could actually get blown up so around here I just stick around here for a bit sniping people out camping around here I don't want to go too far in because I have got a lot of people at the moment focusing on me the reason I took this position was because you could see in that building you could clearly see around here like that gun there to my right if someone was on that gun I'd be able to clearly shoot them I can see so many people moving around it's hard to know who to shoot for because there's so many of them but another thing I've noticed as well with the game is not all the buildings blow up obviously it's only beta and when you shoot in a certain area of the building it just doesn't blow up but then when you shoot in another area it does blow up so you'll notice this on this one a lot I'm shooting in there but there isn't much actually going on to the building structure itself and none of the walls are being broken or anything but if I was to ram my tank through there it would probably break so it's a little strange exactly how all that works but this is the situation which was very tough around here now I get bombarded by grenades should I say absolutely thousands of people start going for me they must have realized that I'm on a crazy kill streak and another situation here in a minute is where when we plant the objective I thought we were gonna win and that was gonna be it but we didn't we just for some reason I didn't guard it I'm not too sure why uh, at the time looking back i should have just sat there guarding it so here you can see my grenades coming in now people are trying to bomb me so that grenade does quite a lot of damage 21 damage and you get two of them and a normal grenade so you could get someone down to half health on a tank then another friend of yours if they throw their grenades they're going to get them down so there's another grenade that i take so i'm down to 59 health now this bit i'm trying to repair as much as i can i did manage to repair this one a little bit uh, but it's very overpowered to repair things, so I think it should be slowed down slightly, maybe. But I still think you should keep it in, because it's a clever concept. And then, so A's under attack here, and here I am just sat here guarding it, and I'm like, oh, my team are in there, surely they can guard it. So I go around here to try and get an advantage, kind of spin around here, and there's a guy running in there. So I clearly sat here, and I'm like, there's no one defusing, clearly, I'm looking closely at the bomb. And next minute, any second now, it just says bomb defuse. So I turn to fight this guy, and then suddenly, boom. I'm not too sure exactly how that happened. But it did. So this is the situation that was very tough. So I got one grenade, two grenade, three grenade, four grenade. I don't know what I'm being shot at by here. There's my five grenade and I'm like, I'm out of here. So at this section of the game, I was very nervous what was going on and I absolutely liked it. Now, I don't actually go back in to kill anyone now. So that's really it. But there is something that strange that really does happen. I managed to somehow get a random kill at spawn. Now, I don't know how this happens. I probably assume it's my tank. You'll notice in a moment, I camp in this building and I'm like, oh my god. Because <laughs> I'm a 59 for non currently. There you go, 59 for non. And I have no idea what to do. I'm like, oh god, oh god. So I'm ha hiding in this building thinking, where should I go next? Got a teammate that spawned on me. He's like, oh, he's not even bothered. He's just like in a bit. <laughs> Doesn't even close the door behind him. He just runs straight out. And I'm here like, close this door. <laughs> hiding here. And then I notice, because I'm using the radar a lot, I notice that my team starts to get killed and they're starting to move up. So I'm like, do I risk it? What do I do? Because obviously if I stay in this building, the objective's only just there and people are moving up pretty quick. So I was getting pretty nervous in this situation. So I'm thinking to myself, what should I do? Now, you'll notice in a moment, I do run back. You can see on the map, I'm just staring at the map. I'm like, right, we've got to go for it. Here we go. So we run for it. I feel like I'm being shot at. I've just sped up the video a little bit just to get this over with. So we're running to the end like this. Pretty simple. And then I just camp out here at the back, sit here for ages, and you'll notice a kill does suddenly pop up. It's really strange when that kill pops up. 
it gets me to 60 to none. It probably is a tank kill. I'm not too sure exactly how it happened. Probably an explosion of my tank. But as you can see, that kill was really random. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is the 60 for none gameplay on Battlefield 1, which is absolutely insane. I don't think I've actually... I haven't, I haven't watched any YouTubes on Battlefield 1, any YouTube videos. So I'm not too sure if anyone's actually done this before. But it's pretty awesome to make a video which is 60 for none. So the, here it is. This footage, you'll see it here now after the game loads up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more Battlefield 1 beta gameplay... I will bring some out soon and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, this is Postbox Pat, signing out.